Hey guys, it's Daniel from Daddy Daughter Gamer. I'm Valentina. I'm Elizabeth. And today, we're going to try Bitter Ballin. So we want to give a shout out to all of you in the Netherlands. You Dutch people, man, you guys are blowing up uh, the video that we tried, some of those uh, snacks, and we really appreciate it. And so one of our viewers actually suggested that we try this. I couldn't find a place so I could actually buy it and I had to make it. So I'm gonna show you how we made this stuff. The recipe called for using top sirloin steak. It's said to use about a quarter of a pound or 400 grams and to chop them into half inch or about 13 millimeter cubes. I actually used a little more than that. Next we'll mix up the seasoning. I used about one to two grams or a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, about a quarter teaspoon or one to two grams of salt, and about half a gram to one gram of ground black pepper. And you'll want to prepare about a quarter cup or six grams of minced parsley. You'll want to heat up about three tablespoons or 40 to 50 grams of butter in a large saucepan. Next, you'll need about three tablespoons or 30 grams of all-purpose flour. I used a gluten-free flour because my wife is actually allergic to wheat. Heat up the butter on medium heat and stir the flour until it's smooth. Next, you'll want to gradually add about a half cup or 120 milliliters of beef broth. You'll cook and stir this for about a minute until it begins to thicken. Now, carefully add meat and parsley and cook it until the meat is no longer pink. Then you can add your salt, nutmeg, and pepper mix. Finally, after it's cooled down, refrigerate it for about three to four hours. Now, take your breadcrumbs and place them into a shallow bowl. You want to add two large eggs, one teaspoon or five milliliters of milk, and a teaspoon of canola oil. Whisk the eggs, milk, and oil together. Now, one at a time, spoon out the meatballs that are already covered in batter, dip them into the breadcrumbs, and then into the egg mixture. and then fry each one into a golden brown. So I've got the mustard here. Uh, the comments in the, on the video said that we should definitely be trying this with mustard. And as you know, I'm a vegetarian, but I am gonna try this anyway. Well, when it was, the mustard was over here and I think I just smelled that. It kinda smelled of like candy. Candy, wow. Smells like a. But now that's. But now that smells like. It, now that came over here. It smells like <clears throat> mustard. So basically, these are fried bread balls with, <laughs> with meat inside. It actually has bread. Yeah, but it's gluten free. I made this specially gluten free. So make sure you just check the description below, and you'll see all the ingredients that we use. So first. We're gonna let the dog try. I wanna try. Let me try. Let me try. She seems to like it. But it wasn't anybody come wanna up grab anymore. a anybody wanna grab a piece? I'm gonna dip it in the mustard. I um, you guys said that it really goes best with mustard. And this is probably the first time we've had like beef in well over a year, so 
Here it goes. Hmm. Wow. I want to try it. Um, it's pretty tasty. Again, I don't usually eat meat, uh, so I'm just going to limit myself to the one. But um, it w had an enjoyable flavor. I don't like it. No? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So here it is. What do you think, uh, Valentina? It's good. Oh my gosh. And the dog liked it too. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bye.